Okay, welcome back. Uh, you, you know, the market uh, pre-open is just 10 minutes out. Uh, so let's uh, go across to Anuj, who's in the studios. Uh, who's going to tell us what he's making of the market price action so far. Uh, Anuj, good morning. Morning, Prachan. Good to have you back. Uh, and uh, you know what? No Monday blues for me because uh, yesterday night, what a game it was. Uh, and to have a, you know, the, the prodigy becoming the new king, I think uh, that uh, is keeping me this morning very excited. But uh, for the market, you know, I'll begin with the same chart that I showed on Friday. Uh, Infosys chart and the fact that, uh, you know, uh, it was ready for a big move. Uh, and I mean, it was up 4%. Very interesting. Now, this is the chart that we are referring to. This downtick that you see is after last quarter's numbers. And this is the gap that Infosys stock was trying to fill for last many days and was unsuccessful. But what happened on Friday in one shot, we moved there. And look at that blue line. That's the 200-day moving average. The only large cap IT stock which is still below the 200-day moving average. And my sense is that in, in, in due course, perhaps it gets there. Uh, now, why is IT rallying? TCS is 1.7% away from 52-week high. Tech Mahindra actually hit 52-week high on Friday. HCL Tech is very close to 52-week high. The market's betting basically on two factors. Yes, the last, this quarter is poor, but this perhaps is the last poor quarter. From here on, things can only improve. That's market's hope. And the bigger reason is what's happening in the U.S. With the way inflation print has been for last many days, now this serious talk of interest rate cut. Forget about pause. Interest rate cut, the Fed pivot, could be a reality as early as September. And that's why a lot of people believe that valuations will once again increase for IT companies. Uh, but that's for the... Medium term, uh, we'll talk about short term here and here you have some very important numbers lined up. Starting today, with, of course, with HDFC Bank, a welcome change from Saturday to uh, a weekday. Infosys, of course, comes out on 20th, 20th July and I hope, uh, you know, HDFC Bank's uh, move rubs off on ICS and Kotak, both of them reporting on Saturday. Together, these four stocks account for 40% of Nifty weight. So, arguably, uh, unarguably actually, it's the most important week of the earnings season. As far as Nifty is concerned, 19,500 call. Uh, that is the one where we had the highest open interest and they were taken to cleaners on Friday. Look at that. Uh, premium doubling and open interest coming down by nearly one-third. Uh, some resistance at 19,650. But you know what? It's taken 10 days for Nifty to move from that 19,000 to 19,500. And that 21-day move uh, from 19,000 to 20,000 is still on. And uh, my sense is uh, in July itself, you should be hitting 20,000. Anand, okay, 20,000, not too far, right? I mean, uh, just about four, 500 points on the Nifty and we'll be there. That psychological mark. But Anand, you know, you had made this point, I think, a couple of months ago on IT mm -hmm. and how that reversal could play out. Some of it perhaps already played through with the 52-week highs last week. But you reckon, I mean, technically at least, is there more to go? No, I think uh, there is, uh, Sonia, uh, like I explained, uh, you know, this is one sector where you have comfort. And you know, one more reason... Uh, I had interviewed Rhythm uh, about two months back and this one very good point he had made was in stock markets, the point of maximum uncertainty leads to the point of maximum gain. Uh, because, you know, companies themselves were saying that we don't have visibility of 8 to 10 days. Forget about, you know, 8 to 10 months. Uh, normally, that's the price at which you get the, uh, the, the best risk to re uh, reward. Uh, and uh, the other thing is Infosys this time bottomed out at 17 times. Normally, in the past four or five times, it's either bottomed out at 13 times or 17 times. So, so it's done that at 17 times. Uh, now, it had a big rally on Friday, so perhaps there could be some consolidation. But the fact that it's made some kind of a bottom, I think, is there on the screen. And there's still valuation comfort. Uh, and the market hopes that from here on, the valuations can only improve. So maybe there could be some more rally. Okay, Anush, thanks a lot for that. Well,